What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk back with another video today. And for today's video, we are gonna take a look at the Air Jordan 2 in the Chicago colorway. Starting with the box for the Air Jordan 2 in the Chicago colorway, you do have a OG inspired box from 1987 with that oversized Wings logo on it. The size label reads Air Jordan 2 Retro in white, varsity, red, and black. And I did get these in a size 10 and a half. And when you open it up, you just have a standard white paper inside of the box. Now inside of the box, you will find this little pamphlet here, and it does have the Air Jordan Wings logo on it. And when you flip it open, it does have some info about the Air Jordan 2. And a really cool little tidbit on the second page in, you do have a breakdown of the shoe and the tech that's inside of it. But in the bottom left corner, it says TYSC23TM87. And that is for some of my good buddies over on Instagram, Sean Collard and Todd Montero. Um, they kind of were involved in this project from the get-go as far as this pamphlet and this hang tag here. Todd uh, on Instagram had the original uh, pamphlet and hang tag that he provided to Jordan Brand so they could get some high def scans of it and use it for this retro. So definitely cool. And as you can see there, there's a small nod to Sean and Todd. So again, shout out to those guys on kind of having a piece in this project for the Air Jordan 2 in the Chicago colorway. So like I mentioned, there is this hang tag, the Wings logo. It is just kind of a bungee cord on the top eyelet. You got the Wings logo on the one side and Nike Air on the other. Awesome. So high def scans from Todd, definitely cool. But starting out with the shoe, at the bottom of the shoe, as you can see here, it does have that Nike script at the bottom and that size label, which is an OG spec. Mine is a size 10 and a half. And this midsole and this black portion here is actually polyurethane. And on a lot of the older retros, this was just kind of like rubber or plastic, but this is actually injected polyurethane right here in the outsole and then wrapping up the midsole here as well. This is all polyurethane. So it's definitely a far comfier shoe than the Air Jordan 1. And actually Michael Jordan broke his foot in the Air Jordan 1. And when he came back from that injury, he was playing in ones with the midsole from the twos. And those are actually considered the Air Jordan 1.5. And Jordan Brand has actually retroed that. A year after that in 1987, we did get the made in Italy Air Jordan 2s. And this retro, in my opinion, is the closest we've got to an OG 1987 as far as the box. Obviously the hang tag and pamphlet are original scans from the original pamphlets and just the overall shape as you can see here the toe box is slanted materials are pretty good and then the piping around this kind of like lizard print leather it's no longer there so it was never there in 1987 but in 04 it did have it and these did retro again in 2010 but 12 years later, we finally have an OG spec out Air Jordan 2, and I couldn't be happier. So as far as cushioning in the Air Jordan 2s, you do have that polyurethane midsole, and there is an air sole unit embedded within that midsole, which you'll actually see in this pamphlet here. If you turn to the second page, you will see that little air sole wedge. So that is in the heel of the Air Jordan 2s. As far as materials, it's a really nice leather, but there is a polyurethane coat over top that does kind of make it a little bit shiny, which to me is a little bit annoying, but the overall cut of leather on these is not bad at all. And then you do have that synthetic, really pebbled kind of lizard print leather here on the lateral side. And when you wrap around to the medial side, you have more of the same. So as far as the overall build and quality, on my pairs, I don't have much to complain about. The only thing I will complain about is the tongue. It's a really cheap kind of like super synthetic leather. At the top, the patch or on the wings logo is actually a really nice grade of leather, but everything down further down from the tongue, in my opinion, it's just a really 
poor synthetic leather, but thankfully the laces will be covering that. And then at the back of the shoe, you do have that Nike script at the top, and then you do have the ribbing just below that. It does have a plastic heel counter that does run almost full length, right down to almost the forefoot. So this shoe was very supportive for MJ back in 1987. Obviously it was a high top shoe as well. And I believe it's size nine and a half and above have the four eyelets right here, the plastic ones, and nine and below have just the three. So let me know what you guys think of this retro again. Obviously this shape is just, in my opinion, almost perfection. Jordan Brand did a fantastic job. And honestly, I pretty much couldn't be happier. I'm just super happy to have an OG specked out Air Jordan 2. Here's to hoping that we get the white and red colorway and some low tops as well. But obviously in 2022, we got a slew of Air Jordan 2s. And in 2023, it doesn't look like it's slowing down at all. And then inside of the shoe, you just have some standard paper, as you can see here. And then the type of insole that you have is a polyurethane insole, the white one, not the cheap uh, Dream Cell one. So definitely happy about that. And then you also have a Nike Air script on the insole. So obviously I've never held the 1987s as those made in Italy pairs are super hard to come by and find, but I did have the 04s and I did see the 2010s. Wasn't a fan of those at all. In 2022, we got a fantastic retro of the Chicago colorway. I actually picked up two pairs of these and I am hoping to add a third to the collection because a shoe with materials and a build like this, I do want to have multiple pairs of. And another thing that this retro doesn't have that I believe the 2010s and 04s, one of them have it, I'll throw it up, but there's a 2-3 behind the tongue. And here on the OG Specked Out 2022, you don't see that. So let me know what you guys think of this shoe as a whole. Obviously the Air Jordan 2 throughout the years has garnered a ton of hate. A lot of people just overlook it. But for me, the two is a fantastic shoe. It's a very comfortable shoe. And honestly, you can play with this shoe on court today. It is super comfortable underfoot. I did play in the 04s and I loved playing in the Air Jordan 2s. They have great traction, awesome cushioning, and that leather material, once it breaks in, it's just so plush on your foot. Shout out to Sean and just everyone that's really been pushing the twos. I'm happy they're back. I hope they're here to stay. If you guys can like, comment, and subscribe, that helps the channel a ton. Stick around for the on foot portion at the end of the video and check out my Instagram over at 23MJ88 as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage, and nostalgia as a whole. But until next time, peace. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, let our ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe, kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back. Got a bag from the way that I write it. Queen looking Tyson, do that I survived, doing 80 to the house. Then I hit it to the sky, change haters on a tirade. Talking to the grip in the face, be still, let that hate stuff fade. We all want the same, we all want a meal in the safe. I want to live like I'm trying to get lightning. Trail spill from my lips, feel big from the bit. Take a sip till I pass out. Try and get grip, but it don't make sense. Cause you can lose life on this fast route.